Over the last two summers, the Parks and Rec Department has struggled to maintain workers to take care of the city's parks. But this summer brings a change. KQ2's Danielle Soxy tells us more. We're not where we want to be, but we're better than we have been in the past. The city has struggled to staff maintenance crew workers for the past two summers. The trimming is what really took a hit because that's what the offender crew really focuses on. But now the Parks and Rec Department says things are looking up. Our work release program, and you know that can, on a daily basis, that could be five people or ten people, depending on the number of crews we get. So that helps. Um, that helps tremendously because they also do some other jobs. You know, if we have, like, we have a broken water line, a lot of times we have to hand dig it. We'll get those guys in there and we'll have it dug out in no time. And more funding. Over $50 million will trickle in the next 10 years to restore and improve local parks. You know, with the park tax funding, we're able to buy some new equipment. That is helping tremendously, too, because our employees are now able to get on a piece of equipment that they can count on working all day long. The city said they lost about half of the maintenance crews when the pandemic began, causing labor cutbacks and longer schedules. The weed eating, unfortunately, last couple of years was non-existent. You know, we've really struggled the past two to three years. COVID really knocked the staffing down significantly. Kemp says the staff has almost doubled this summer, but they are still not where they want to be. I would hope uh, that most people would notice that the parkway and, and the things that we take care of, we're able to stay on top of them, we're able to keep um, a better schedule than we have in the past. Reporting, Danielle Soxie, KQ2 News. There are still many openings on the maintenance crews, varying from parkway work, ball fields, and local parks. To apply, visit the city's website at stjosephmo.gov.